Hello, Stampers. It's Elizabeth. And I actually just home from work tonight. And I have a meeting with Stampin' Up! a little bit later. So I'm not here with a tutorial, but I am here with this month's paper pumpkin. So if you don't want to see what's this, what's in this month's paper pumpkin, turn off this video now and come back and look at it later. But I'm going to reveal um, the November paper pumpkin kit. It was on my doorstep when I came home from work tonight. So um, this is going to be really quick so I can change, uh, eat, and then get ready for my meeting with Stampin' Up! a little bit later. I think it's 7 o'clock mountain time which is 9 o'clock. That's kind of late. 9 to 10.30 I think the meeting is. Anyhow, let's get started. I'm going to show you what's on Paper Pumpkin. Okay, so this was on my doorstep as I mentioned when I got home. I swear that it's like midnight leaving work these days. It's so dark. So, so, so dark. I hate it. I hope I'm not the only one that doesn't like it. But... So, um, so this month's kit is called, well, I like the box. It's a pretty box. If you're into bo pretty boxes, it's called Gifts Galore. And it's so wrapped up like a present. I actually am doing a Secret Santa with a bunch of, dem with a, another demonstrator that I don't know who it is. It was, um, an event I attended a couple weekends ago and, um, I, she, I picked her name, and so I'm going to use this as the box to send her present in. I think that's a brilliant idea. So we have, and let me see if I can, no, I can't put that there. I'm going to get a darker piece of cardstock. Um, this might work. Okay, so we have um, sort of like a, what's that called? Diagonal. A diagonal stripe. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. We have a blow, a bow, some snowflakes. We have a to and from. It's really cute. I like that to and from. We've got um, oh what fun. That's this one. Um, we have Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. So that's the stamp set. That is part of this month's paper pumpkin. And the color du jour is Flirty Flamingo. It's a really kind of unique uh, color for, um, for Christmas. I guess it kind of goes with the Whimsy and Wonder Suite. And you're going to have to want to stick around because uh, I'm going to give some promos at the end. Just keep you advised of some things that are coming up. So this is the kit, Gifts Galore Paper Pumpkin Kit. And let's open this baby up. I always like to read what the coordinating colors, etc., etc., are. Oh, these are cute. Oh, this is, um, there was a suite a few years ago that this reminded me of. Oh, somebody, somebody's on, somebody said something. Hello, I don't have my iPad on. So, so cute. Oh, that must, that might be Ellen as a, as um, let's see, add to broadcast. Let me see if I can do this. Look at that. Facebook user. So cute. Can you see that? I got your name up. I've got it up here. I should change the color of that because you can't see it very well. Let me change the color. I'm just going to be, uh, oh, I don't know how to change the color. Sorry. I don't know how to change the color offhand, but let me get rid of that so that you can't see it. But I will learn how to do that. So, um, gifts galore, paper pumpkin. And um, so more information, paperpumpkinknowhowto.com. Do more with this month's kit. A kit contains supplies for nine treat boxes. Oh, this is what I always love, the coordinating Stampin' Up! colors. Our evening evergreen, flirty flamingo, old olive pool party, and poppy parade. There was a stamp, a bundle, um, a suite a couple of years ago, and this reminds me of that suite that was, um, at, that was, at, I can't remember what it was called, medley something, something medley. Anyhow, I digress. So these are the instructions. I'm going to show you the instructions. I love that they've gone, um, 
uh, all all with um, oh my god and my brain is gone tonight uh, visual there's no written instructions okay so let's see what's in this kit oh they're big treat bags oh oh so there is they're big oh I like oh I like I thought they were smaller so this is um, I have to figure out how to put them together so this is I think the front and back um, aren't these cute they're quite they're quite big let me get the, the um, my ruler so these stand like nine and uh, sorry six and a half inches tall that's quite big and um, the on the widest part it's four and a half inches or four and three quarters so that's a snowman and then here so it goes there and then here are the trees oh these are I love these I thought they were actually smaller and um, but these are quite large so you can actually um, put a lot in them and so this is like six inches tall oh what happened here oh there it goes I don't know why it switched over on me you didn't need to see my face um, six inches tall and then the widest part here is five inches so quite large I like those then I think this is how it goes. These are the box bases. So I'm not going to put it together and I, you know me, I don't read instructions, right? But I believe that you'll create the box like this and then one of these will go on the front and then the other one will go on the back. Let me see. So we've got, there should be nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So there's nine of the box spaces. And so there will be uh, three, six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So there's six of the, so the trees, the front and back. Six of the presents. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And so that'll be the front and the back. I'm out of the, out of the window there. And then six of the snowman. And that so that will be snowman front and back. You know, um, you probably would be able to um, use this for cards, make a card out of this, put it on a card front if you didn't want to make the treat bags. Um, they would be quite large cards though, but I'm trying to think. Or if you wanted to, you could use this as a template. I'm thinking outside the box here. Use this as a template and create your own boxes and then only use one of these at the front and leave the back blank. I'm wondering if that if you could do that. Um, oh there's the there's the what the back looks like. So if you only put um, a treat like one of these on the front of the box and leave the ba back of the box blank. I don't know how how sturdy that would be but um, it's an option. And then we have all of the treat bags. Ooh, wow, look at the treat bags that you can use to stuff them with goodies. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, nine treat bags. Man, if I was doing craft fairs this year, that these would have been perfect for the craft fairs. And then um, you can stamp to and from on the back. Shoo, perfect! You could stamp to and from on the back. And um, that way, I think if I'm not mistaken that these might be in the catalog or there's something similar in the catalog so you could actually make uh, you should get nine you can get nine snowmen oh yeah because there's no six snowmen if you use only one of them for the front and then six trees and six uh, presents and then here are all the the labels and so the for the circle labels and one, two, three, four, five, ten. No, five, ten. Is there, uh, yeah, ten of the traditional tags. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then eight of the, um, the large banner type tags. And then you have, they've sent you some tear and tape to put the boxes together. And then you have some dimensionals. And you've got 
uh, Old Olive and Poppy Parade Baker's Twine. And then you've got a whole bunch of little paper clips to put them together. These are too cute. Oh, hi, Emily. These are too cute. I actually really like these. I, I will be honest with you that I hesitated sometimes, I hesitate sometimes with this type of treat packaging, but I think this is really cute. And the fact that you would put the box together, you can put the box together. I'm just winging it here, adhere it like, and you would, um, use the tear and tape to glue it all down like that. And then you would put this on the front so if you if you did it this way and you only used one for the front um, you'd have to have it so that the box sits down on the ground and so you would see the box edges on this side I think the intent is for this to actually be up a little higher like that so that the front and back of the snowman or the tree or whatever is what it's actually sitting on but you know nothing to say you can't put it down further it doesn't really look that bad put it down further and that way it stands up on its own and you just have the front you don't have anything on the back and you could put a little um, banner across here or you could decorate this somehow if you wanted to make more treat boxes than what uh, they have here but you'd have to create your own template here. It's not hard to create a to create a box here that would that you could use either. So that's this month's paper pumpkin kit. So what do I have? What else do I have to tell you? A couple of things. If you ever wanted to join the Maple Leaf Stampers, this is the advertisement, guys. Now is the time because uh, right now Stampin' Up is having the sale. So for $100 Canadian, um, you can uh, select $165 in Stampin' Up! product of your choice from any current catalog. Plus until, what's the date? The end of tomorrow night, um, you can add the uh, paper dies or ink pads to your starter kit and get them at a discount. So um, that's the three-day sale and uh, the paper cardstock is 10% off. The ink pads, um, not the third-party ink pads and not bundles, are 15% off. And the dies are 20% off, all from the annual catalog, not the holiday catalog or the mini. And so uh, you can combine the two specials. But that uh, three-day sale ends tomorrow night. That's the first thing I wanted to tell you. Second thing I wanted to tell you, a oh, woohoo weekend is coming up. I know that a couple of you have already uh, signed up for it. So if you're interested in joining woohoo weekend, please let me know. I've got to be friends with you on Facebook in order that I can invite you. So um, uh, I think it's the 25th, 26th uh, next weekend. Um, also coming up is um, uh, December 3rd to 5th is the global share fair and that is we're focusing on holiday packaging using stampin up products so you'll want to uh, tune in for that one again if you're part of the global share fair already you are in that group so no need to worry but if you're not in your customer of mine and you want part of the global share fair again please let me know so i can add you and then the last thing that's coming up which is kind of why i've been slow the last little while on doing uh, holiday um, ideas coming on Facebook is because about a week and a half ago I was contacted uh, to see if I wanted to participate in the 12 days of Christmas and so that's coming up I think starting December 1st and how that's going to work is um, each of us has um, one day and during in that day we have to do a presentation so it's going to be uh, based on our timing, our schedule, so, um, but you're going to end up with 12 different uh, tutorials over a 12-day period. I think uh, over a 13-day period because I think they're going to take a break during um, the Global Share Fair. So um, one of the projects I was going to do on Facebook Live, I decided to do for the um, 12 Days of Christmas. I know. So, but I've got two time slots for the 12 days of Christmas or two days, back to back days, because my project is kind of um, 
uh, it's two part kind of, and it would have been too long for one event for one whole um, presentation. So um, we don't, I don't think the calendar has been posted yet for who's presenting and uh, what days or what times, but I asked for uh, a Saturday and a Sunday so that um, I could present them. I think it was at one o'clock uh, Eastern on Saturday and Sunday. So looking forward to the events. Yeah, so there's a lot coming down um, the pipe. And then with the Stampin' Up's convention last weekend, and I had another uh, demonstrator con uh, event the day before convention. And then tonight I've got a Stampin' Up meeting with um, Stampin' Up head off with Stampin' Up Canada's head office. So um, I've been kind of pulled in 20 different directions. But I appreciate you being here and checking out this month's paper pumpkin. Next month's looks really cute. It looks like it's punny, um, like puns. So um, anyhow, um, that's it. So thanks for checking in. I think this is such a cute um, paper pumpkin kit. I think it's so adorable. There's the front. There's the front and one more with the Christmas tree. There's the Christmas tree. And then that's the back of the tree. And that's the back of the presents. And then that's the back of the snowman. Take care, have a good one, and we will talk to you again soon. Happy stamping!